Hello YouTube, my name's Ant, welcome to episode 14. So I decided to make uh, some new outriggers, some real beefy ones. So, oh, I've got this stuff, closed cell foam from eBay. Got two of them, one for port, one for starboard. And I've got some things to hold it. I'll explain in a minute. Aluminium poles, square poles, and I've made this jig to go, it'll be locked into the boat, and then the rails are going to go down here so I can extend them out the sides of the boat. Hopefully, it's going to work. I wasn't going to film it, but so many little detailed things going on, I thought it was quite interesting really. So I'll just film in the end sections of it. And I'll show you some more bits. So here's my cross section that I made. This sort of angle bit, that locks into the side of the um, gunnels. Each side, that's why it's angled. And I've got these that I made. Which one, one? That one goes there, and then you can see just down there. That's where one of the gunnels goes, and then this bit, that top bit, will slot into one of the scupper holes. This is a picture of the front end of a boat, and it's sort of going to go across there. This this bit of wood across there and then floats will be sort of bolted onto this uh, movable piece of aluminium square bar so I can um, have it near the boat or can have it wider further away I was just working out here how far forward to put it because when I'm sitting here I've got to be able to paddle so that I'm not whacking into the paddle when I do my canoe stroke. So I've kind of taken that into account, hopefully I've got it right. So, once these are in there I've made these, these little uh, hand bolts, just made out of a bit of birch ply, which is without the head of the bolt so it wouldn't uh, spin and this is a nylock nylock nut so it's pretty secure and then line this up once you push up through the scupper hole go through there and do it up and that should hopefully lock the whole thing into the boat because that being the scupper hole, that's where the gunnel goes through, and this is laying over the top of the top of the gunnel. So this will be the underneath, obviously. I'll show you all this when I've um, on a nice day because it's dark now. So I'll get it out and show you all this how it all fits in. So this is how the rails fit in. It's two of these, obviously. Just slide it into there. Like that. So I'll have that like that then just get all this sponge close cell foam thing so that'll go on the end of there. I've got to obviously make these brackets to hold this. That's a little bit of thought of went into that. I've worked it out though. So once I've had one on the other side, there's the other one. This put it in. Like that, and I've got port and starboard floats in that are extendable. And then to keep them in place, I'm going to drill a hole in here. And I've come up with this idea. Just poke that, I'll be poking that through there, holes in, in there. And then once that's through, I've got a bit of rope on the end, I'll just tie it off so it won't come out. And these will all be locked in place. Hopefully that's going to work.
drill some holes right at the end of this so it's quite a lot of weight on here it's quite hard to keep this really flattened without this end lot of leverage going down so I've just tied it onto my door tied it around the bottom there and it's keeping it solid that's a good idea isn't it nuts are sticking up quite a bit here when they sit on the sponge and you can see they've indented the foam sponge whatever you call it and what's happening is it's kind of stopping it sitting flush so it's a lot harder to thread things through these holes so I'm going to route that out There you go, that worked out well. Nice and smooth from the router. It's the right depth to take that nut now as well. Both sides and on the other one. Thank you. 
pretty stable with them right in these outrigger floats so that's pretty good oh wait a minute I'm just gonna run that around in there dirty great big great big log there tree whatever it is
I say it's quite hard to do this J stroke, but it's the first time I've done it, so that's that's quite a success, isn't it? The thing is, I'm concentrating so much on doing the stroke that I'm not enjoying it exactly 100%. So the more you get that down, the more of a good time you're gonna have, I think. Awesome reflections. Look at it. Definitely cure your headache with that, can't you? Yeah, woodpecker. Just coming up to Betchworth Bridge now, so I'm gonna get out in a minute. It's getting a bit dark, so better get out while I can still see what I'm doing. See you later. Just on the way back now, just saw this sky. I thought, oh, I've got to get that. Look at the colour of that. Absolutely amazing. Just came around the corner, saw the moon. Beautiful golden colour. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. Had to get that. Anyways, thanks for watching all. See you later.